Derek is what today were well talking about something that pertains to marriage but a, a, a story that will help young people like those of you who are saying I don't have a father I don't have a mother and I want to become somebody in life nobody to help me and because of that maybe they go into crime well today I'm featuring a medical doctor actually but the story of his life is so challenging he became a medical doctor out of nothing without parents he lost his parents at a very tender age like age four and today he's a medical doctor so i want his story to encourage young people listening to me that you can still be what god wants you to be despite all the odds around you on that note let's welcome dr makai baribo dr baribo you're welcome thank you very much my name is Rachel Ona, so from now till a quarter to two, you'll be listening to the story of Dr. Barry Bo and how as a young person, maybe you're an orphan, maybe no hope, uh, your parents died and left you, or you're from a broken family, or something terrible has happened to you and the family, but you still want to become somebody in life, and something is telling you that you're hopeless, that you're going nowhere. I want you to listen to the story of this young man and um, it will encourage you. So, Dr. Baribo, how did you start life? I mean, how did it start for you? And at what point did you lose your parents? <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Rachel, Dr. Rachel. Uh, life in general is a challenge. And uh, what makes life beautiful is your determination to make something out of life. As a young man, as a young boy that was brought up in the remote area, in the village. Did you hear that? He said he was brought up in the village, not even in the city. Okay, go ahead. Yes, not even in the city where even my parents, they were not educated. They were not having any access to formal education. <clears throat> but at some point, I decided that yes, I'm going to be something, I'm going to make the best out of life. As a young boy, I started working very hard. And whatever thing I found myself doing, I put all my effort to make sure that I do it well. Tell us how you went through your primary school without parents, how you went through your secondary school. I want to hear all the story. Yes. It'll encourage somebody out there. Yes. <clears throat> my, oh, I went to primary school in a village where as of that time we were not having enough facility, we were not having enough of, of, of manpower. But that is in the school, in right? A, yes, in the school where we were not having enough facility. But I was so determined and also so God really helped me. And whatever thing given to me back then, I I make sure that I I, 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 I did it well. Secondary school was also challenging because of materials to 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 to, to for, for reading reading materials all that thing were not there. But still I was still doing my best, try as much as I can to make sure that the available and the little resources that was available then I utilized it very, very well. So did you have your secondary school in the city or in the not, village? Not no, no. Uh, everything was done in the village. So, did. Um, how did you skill through in your secondary school academically? Yes. Uh, Tell us the story. I want yeah, to hear. Yes. Uh, in secondary school, uh, when I noticed that we were not having uh, enough facilities and teachers to help us, what I did, I find out that my, my senior student, one of my seniors, he was doing excellently well in science subjects. So I called him one day. I said, senior, please, I need your help. I want to be good at mathemat or at our science subjects, but we do not have enough teachers. Could you please help me? He, he accepted me and from time to time he was teaching me all the sciences he was encouraging me he was encouraging me all the materials 
available for him i was as well using the same materials i was very very obedient i was was uh, both to my teachers and my seniors so that was where i think my academic breakthrough uh, 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 came out okay tell us about the breakthrough you're referring to here yes the breakthrough in the sense that you you you, you start uh, I, I was now good with the science subjects i was i was like so because of the help of that senior exactly you were exactly. able to learn mathematics and yes. other science subjects yes okay biology chemistry and that really helped and has as a student when you're able to to understand to get to to to, to get the concept it, it that will help you to get other other things right so I think that was the beginning of my success. So what happened in secondary school? Yes, in, in secondary school. How did you see yourself through secondary school? Yes, there was there was no resources, there was no money. Uh, but I, my mom, my mom, when she was alive, she she did her best. Any little resources that she was having. And also to my friends, their materials. I was using their materials to study. I was, I was, um, I was following my seniors, people that are very good, that I know that they will be able to help and all that. So that really helped me. And also, I was, I was obedient to my teachers too. So with all these efforts all these efforts together i was able to also skate through secondary school yes thank you okay you didn't tell them that you got a scholarship in yes, secondary school yes in secondary school i also got a scholarship from um, some people they came to our school and they were like oh we want to know the good students in the school and the the the, uh, so the, 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 the teachers they recommended me which they really help and most of the materials most of the things they really helped okay yes and then when you wrote your school certificate exam yes you, as oh. i got everything at a sitting all right uh i i decided to dedicate this program to the youths who say because they come from families as well when you look at the society you see a lot of moral decadence you see a lot of youths taking to crimes those people are from families as well. They will claim they don't have anyone to help them. They don't have any uncle, any auntie, any parents.